So we're continuing our discussion of how you can now set session variables at the same time that your AJAX callbacks take place to open up uh, target components. And you can see here, yeah, this is the component, the grid component that is being opened by that button. And if we just go to the above grid section over here, you can see that um, we're just printing out the value of session.var1. And uh, if we go to fields and we look at, say, I think it was the default value for the sales rep field, we're setting that to session.var1. So now let's go ahead now and uh, try out our uh, component. So we'll go over to live preview now. And uh, recall that we're setting the session value to the value of the last name field in the current row. So I'm going to go ahead and now press open grid. And we can see now that there's our session variable and it says Mesner. And then if I go to the new record, you can see the new record has a default value uh, set to session.var1 in which that says Mesner. So now let's go to Thomas McMiggan and then press open grid. And you can see the session variable there. And when we go to the new record, the session variable is used in the default value. So the same technique that I've described here can be used when you open up a dialog and also open up a custom component. So this ability to set a session variable at the same time that your AJAX callbacks take place to open up uh, a target grid or dialog is a valuable new convenience feature in uh, version 11. Thank you very much.